after purchasing the MTR3B several months ago and taking it into the field for a few activations, I'm back with six more MTR3B essentials coming up. A few months ago, I purchased an MTR3B, and then I reached out to a few of my friends on social media and asked them what they thought were a few items I might need to purchase to go along with the MTR3B to complete my setup. After that, I created a video called Six MTR3B Essentials, which you can find right up here. Now here we are six months later, and I've taken that rig out in the field a few times and practiced with it and activated a few summits. And I have my own experiences now, and I have six more MTR3B essentials to add to the list. So here they are. Essential item number one is an antenna. Now I know that I mentioned the antenna in my previous video on the six essentials for an MTR3B, but I wanted to mention it again as one of the essential items because I made another one. This one here, is a linked dipole that I made and you can find the video for it right up here. And that antenna uh, is about half the footprint and half the size of the one I've been using up to this point. It's, it only weighs eight ounces. Now I know I can go smaller, but the point I wanted to make with this is that you gotta use what you have. Get started in the hobby with what you have. If you have equipment that you wanna use, you just gotta use what you have. Get out there and don't wait. I wanted to be sure to continue to downsize and make my gear more compatible with the MTR3B. Essential item number two on this list is paracord. I have here some paracord. I like the orange because it's easier to see in the bush. It's important that you have paracord, I think, because you never know when you're gonna need to tie down something. You may need to tie down your mass, or you may need to use it to hoist your antenna into a tree if that's an option. So there are many uses for the, uh, the paracord and I think it's important to include some in your kit. I actually have a little bit of an extra item here uh, and that's these clips that I've attached to uh, some paracord. So this paracord, this is about 30 feet. So I pack 30 feet of just plain up straight up paracord and then I have these snaps here and they go to the end of my antenna and I snap to the end of the antenna and then tie these down to the other end of uh, you know a tree or a rock or whatever I can get to make sure that the ends are tied. Essential item number three is going to be your antenna mast. I have one here that's 20 feet long and you're going to want to get something like this. There are really expensive ones and really inexpensive ones and really cheap ones and really well made ones and so you'll have to do your research. I, I know that you can buy them for as cheap as three bucks plus shipping all the way up to twenty thirty dollars or more. Uh, I'll give you some ideas down here in the comments on uh, some good ideas for an antenna mast fishing rod for you. In addition to the, the fishing rod, that goes, what I have that goes along with them are these uh, ties. These are uh, gear ties and I have the box here. This is the gear ties. I got these at Home Depot. This set was, was, uh, this set was $10 and it come with, came with six of them. And what you do, what I do is I take these gear ties and I'll wrap them around a bush or something and then make sure that the antenna is also there and, and I, I tie them to something so that the antenna can be uh, held secure. I take about four ties, there's two here, but I usually take two more just in case I need to extend the length, I can just do this and then now I have a longer one and I can, it'll go around a tree or something. So I find these very useful uh, and, and they're, they, they pack well and they don't get tangled. Essential item number four is going to be your log. Now I, I've been going back and forth in my mind about what to do with this because I definitely need to downsize from what I have right now. I have here a, a, a notepad, but I think it's a little too big and bulky even to uh, include in this kit. And I've, I've thought about these flashcards. Maybe I can take those along with a pencil. Uh, it's a decent idea, but I'm really considering possibly doing VK Porter log and just going completely paperless uh, for activations where I use the MTR3B. I don't know, I, I really need to figure it out and I haven't yet. I think what I'm gonna do on the next activation 
is I'm going to take along the notepad and the flashcards and install VK Porter Log and try all three and see what I like the best. And uh, then from there, I'll, I'll maybe have a better recommendation. Essential item number five. Now this is a fun one. I, uh, as one I really hadn't thought of and uh, it may be an optional one, but I'm throwing it in as required. I'm gonna grab it here out of the bag. What it is, is a cover or face plate for your MTR3B. So you see here, I have uh, this yellow thing. If I can take it off here, I'll show you. So here you have the MTR3B and you've got these buttons right here. And I think they need to be protected and a lot of other people do as well. It's important to, to make sure that these buttons are protected because they, they wear out and you can, uh, you can, you'll have to get in there and replace them. I don't want to do that anytime soon. So I have here uh, this, this faceplate and I need to make a, a, a quick note and, uh, and give a shout out to Kyle, Alpha Alpha Zero Z. Kyle, he has a, he has a YouTube uh, channel, so you might want to check him out right up here. But he sent me four, actually. I have, a, I have this box right here. There's four in there. These, these three blue ones, and of course I was, I was uh, attracted to the yellow one right away. I've tried fitting all four of them onto my MTR3B. All but one fits pretty good. So I really appreciate Kyle uh, sending me these. You really can't buy them anywhere. Uh, the plans are out there on the internet to, to 3D print them. So you got to know somebody like I do uh, that has a 3D printer that's willing to, to make one for you. But I think it's important because let me put this on here and snap it on. <clears throat> when you put that on, now when you go and you put this, uh, this radio here into, the, into, the, into your box, uh, you know, if I have a bunch of stuff up in here, it could really mess up the, the buttons. But uh, doing that, it really doesn't. Essential item number six is something that's pretty obvious, but I thought I'd list it here because it is obvious, and that is something to put everything in. I have here a fanny pack that I purchased from Walmart for about eight bucks, and I think I can fit all 12 essentials in here. Um, you may argue that there aren't 12 essentials between the six that I uh, mentioned before and these six, but uh, you know I've added some bonus items and included some things together, so there's at least six, I think. Okay, now for a bonus item. Essential item number seven. Earbuds. Now I know I listed earbuds in my previous essential items as well. But you don't want to pull a K6 ARK and forget them. Or what if they fail? So essential item number six, bonus item, extra earbuds. Put somewhere else. In fact, I'm putting my earbuds, my bonus extra earbuds, in this little pack in my bag. And they're just going to stay there and not get used. And if my, uh, my earbuds fail or I forget them, then right here. Okay, let's see if we can get all these items into the, the uh, fanny pack now. Uh, I'm not going to go in order, but there should be 14 items that we'll be able to fit in here, depending on how you count everything. And I'm just going to mix it up and go... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to list all the items uh, and just put it in in the order that makes sense to me. So first thing I'm going to do is put the antenna in. So that's uh, so we've got the duffel bag and we've got the antenna is item number two. And then the faceplate would be item number three. Make sure that this goes on here. And item number four is the the plug. Item number five is the battery connector. Um, six would be this battery. Uh, seven, I'm going to say is the hard drive case and eight and nine will be these earbuds and my key, they go in here. So my key and my earbuds. Now I'm going to close this, put this in. Okay, the next item would be the log, which is these flashcards and pencil. The antenna mask doesn't go in, but uh, associated with that are these ties. So I'll put these ties in. Getting close. Uh, this we'll put right here. And we've got the uh, snaps for the antenna. I'm gonna kind of put them on the edge here. And the paracord. So let's uh, see if we can zip this all up. I don't need this. 
cover on here. And there you have it. Those are all 14 items that uh, we discussed, uh, excluding the, uh, the antenna or fishing pole. One more thing is these snaps. I ordered a whole bunch of these, as you can see, off of uh, Amazon. They didn't really come in a reasonable price in a group of two or four, and I wanted two or four, so uh, I ordered 20. I took out uh, two for this project, and then I also took out two just for extra. But the remaining uh, bunch of uh, snaps are for you, for watching uh, my channel. So if you have a project where you could use a couple of these, go ahead and email me and I'll send them to you free of charge. Uh, I don't really expect anything in return. And uh, make sure that you probably do that by Thanksgiving of 2020, Thanksgiving of this year, because probably by then they'll all be gone. I'll, I'll have given them all out. So if you're watching uh, before that, great. If you're watching after, then you, you probably shouldn't bother. So with that, I will uh, move it over here and do a wrap. So there they are, six more MTR3B essentials. They're my essentials, the things that I feel are important. Maybe you have other things that you would like to add, add to your kit that are different from mine. But I hope you've enjoyed watching and seeing what I have in mind and what I'm trying to do to bring down the size and weight of my kit. I still have a few things I need to do. I need to finish up my NFED half-wave trapped uh, antenna that I'm building uh, from uh, plans by a K6ARK. I also think I can do something with my paracord. It's uh, kind of a thicker paracord. I think I can bring down the size of that a little bit and have it so it's less bulky and taking up less space in uh, my uh, fanny pack. There might be a few other things I can do too. You know, if I don't take the pencil and the um, and the uh, the flashcards and just use VK Portalog, I might be able to get rid of those extra earbuds, although I really do think you need to take an extra pair along. They don't take up that much weight and space. But uh, I think I, there's a few things I can do maybe to bring it down a little bit more. But for the most part, that's the kit. And uh, I think it's a pretty uh, reasonable size and weight. So tell me what you think in the comments below. And thank you again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. 73 to you.